A hundred years from today, who are you reading seated this poem of mine, albeit so curiously, to say, a hundred years from today? Today's nouveau spring, this joyous morning, or the day's intrinsic jots, today's flora amidst, songbird's endless list, or today's sanguine lots, can I not, in passion drench, and send to your palms, to LA, a hundred years from today? Yet please, just once more, do open the southern door, sit by the portico, peer out to a distant hue, imaginatively imbue, and mindfully ado, how, a hundred years back, restless, joyful mirth descended upon the earth, and entirety touched its spark, the infantile day and spring, a totally unleashed flame, anxiously intoxicated, flapping restless wings, floral pollen smelling, the south wind, unabated, had suddenly burst forth, a reddening hue on earth in youthful foray, a century before yours today. That day, ebullience in part, and with a song-filled heart, a poet did awake, like little buds, so many a word, he hoped to sprout and be heard, for passion's sake, a hundred years from today. A hundred years from today, which new poet's songs in your homes now play? This brings joyous greeting unto his hands I do convey. May my vernal song on your day in spring resound briefly, entwining your heart's throbbing with the bee's buzzing, within the leaves murmuring, a hundred years from today.